Hello everybody! Happy New Year 2019. January 1st, 2019. Man, where does the time go, huh? Unbelievable. Well, we had a great 2018 as far as Beetle related events and activities, so let's hope for a great Beetle year in 2019. And to start things off, what do you know? First and foremost, we get a brand new song from Paul McCartney. Who knew? Who would have thunk it? But here we go. He comes out with a new song called Get Enough. It's a little under three minutes long, about two minutes and 57 seconds. And I'm just going to here to give you my quick review, some notes about it, that my initial reaction to it, and then I'm going to give it a grade. Why not? One song, I'm going to give it my grade. That's it. Uh, so it was a surprise to hear uh, that we have a new Paul McCartney song to start the new year off with. Um, let me get right into it. And if I, you see me look referring over here, I'm just reading some notes here. I want to make sure I get everything in. I did like the opening to the song with the piano and Paul singing. Okay, it starts out uh, almost, I'll say similar, but not exact like I Don't Know from his uh, Egypt Station album. It's got the piano, Paul singing softly. And I'm not going to complain about Paul's voice, okay? I'm not going to give any ranking or grade to his voice. We know what Paul's voice is. He's 76 years old. He's not singing like he did on the Wildlife album or uh, Red Rose Speedway anymore. It is what it is, okay? I'm just going to say he, he does a serviceable, good job with his voice, okay? Let's leave it at that. So, anyway... Starts out with the little piano, Paul singing, sounds nice, reminded me of I Don't Know a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it starts to build a little bit and auto-tune comes in. Now I know it's done purposely and I know Paul knows, we know he's using auto-tune because it's obvious that the auto-tune is being used for the effect of the song. He's trying to be a modern sounding song, he's trying to sound modern sounding, so he's putting that little auto-tune effect on his voice as it builds, as the song builds. I think the auto-tune's a little too much for my liking. Um, I think he's still trying to do that thing he was doing a little bit with the Egypt Station album with some of the songs on there. You know, like he wants to be like Kanye West or some of these younger, newer artists or whatever. He's trying to be modern. Maybe he's looking still for that elusive hit which he didn't really get too much of one with Come On To Me and I Don't Know. Uh, I think he thought he was going to, you know, be back on the top of the charts again, multi-million selling single, which really didn't happen. I don't believe so anyway. I mean, we, there could be debate about that, but I don't think those songs did as well as what Paul would have liked them to do. So anyway, is he still trying to do that? Is that what he's doing here by adding this auto-tune effect to an obvious, it's obvious it's right there in your face, uh, is he trying to be Mr. Modern again? Is he trying to get that elusive number one hit or top five hit again? I think maybe he is. Um, the middle eight is not bad. I, I, maybe I'm referring to it wrong. I'm not a musician, but the middle eight of the bridge part where the oohs start to come in. It's almost like Beach Boy-like harmonies. You know the part I'm talking about? It's very brief. I did like that part of the song, when the harmonies start to build near about three quarters of the way through with the oohs and that effect, but it's all too brief. I like that part. I thought the song should have had more of that in it. It really had a nice flavor to it, a nice feel to it, but then we get back to the regular verses again till the end of the song, where it's just Paul and, you know, singing that same, uh, you know, get enough thing and whatever. Uh, I, I thought the verses, the general verses, are kind of generic folks and boring. I mean, I'm not going to say they're terrible. I'm just going to say the verses didn't do much for me. Uh, the auto-tune, to me, did not help. Frankly, I think the auto-tune kind of stinks, and it, the song really never really goes anywhere for me. And as I said, I do enjoy that middle eight bridge. I'm going to say that again because that is the one part. When he starts to go off into that middle eight bridge area, I believe you call it, with the, with the big harmonies coming in and, and, and growing, that, it was like, that, that was what I liked. I said, wow, I wish the song was built around that. Then it might have been a better song for me. But as it was, in general, I thought the lyrics were nice. Uh, at first, when he's singing about the docks, uh, we were standing on the docks and looked across, saw the rain reflecting, or the stars reflecting, or whatever, in the rain. I thought maybe he's talking about John there, the docks of Liverpool or something, you know, the past or something. But 
it's kind of clear as you listen to the lyrics that he's singing about a woman or a female. So I'm saying, is this Linda? Is it Nancy? Because he's saying stuff like, do you remember? Um, the days are now are, are erased from my mind, or those days are erased from my mind. I've, I've, let those, I've left those days behind, but I still remember your face forever. So who is that? I mean, it, it, again, I feel the song, could it be a combo of a little bit of Linda in there? I still remember your face. Is there some John in there? Uh, the past? I don't know. I'd like to hear some of your interpretations on what the song means. And I will give him a, a, a thumbs up for the lyrics. I thought the lyrics were very nice and what he's singing about, um, I thought were, were well done. But overall, folks, I have to say, and I'm going to end this right now, is I give the song a C. And I'm not going to change my mind. <laughs> I know some people out there saying, oh, just like you did, Matt, with Egypt Station and for you and <laughs> come on to me. You came on like gangbusters, the first video going like this with for you. It, it stunk. And then a couple of videos later, you were, you were praising it, saying it was pretty good. Well, that was a different song, folks, and a different, uh, a different thing was going on then, okay? Let me just say with this one, no, I'm not going to change my mind. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, an okay enough song, get enough, but I give it a C, and that's it. I'm not changing. Okay? So, Happy New Year. God bless, and I'd like to hear what you think about the new Paul song. Bye-bye, Beatle friends. God bless.